me now. I've proven that there is life after death. I walked on fire. This man gets people to walk over hot coals. I'm a little bit nervous. But is it as dangerous as it looks? You will not forget this night as long as you're alive. Unbelievable surgery without instruments or anesthesia. The doctor can open the patient up just with their hands. But is it real or an illusion? Above us was a craft with a beam coming down. Was this man really abducted by aliens? We know that all experience is derived from the brain. This scientist can simulate abductions in his lab. Is this object captured on tape by NASA cameras aboard the space shuttle hard evidence of an alien visitation? There's some kind of a spacecraft out there. Or is there a more down-to-earth explanation? Sixth Sense, ESP, Clairvoyance. There are many mystical names given to the centuries-old practice of mind reading. But do people who claim to be psychic really possess a mysterious power? Or is it all just an act? Get your popical fast, please. Yeah. Because he said to me, boom, right out of here. It Do you want a massive heart attack? Because he said, boom, I'm Suzanne right Northrup says she can talk to the dead. Tied in with it. His yeah. mama's also gone. Am I correct on that, Carrie Ann? Yes, she is. Yes, because he says my mama's with me, and I don't know who he's making reference to. I don't know if somebody liked Rose. It was named Rose or Rose. My Rose. grandmother was Rose. Was Northrup is a psychic thing? medium, yeah. okay, gifted, because, she yeah, says, cool. with a rare ability. Somebody had a stroke connected to her also, and I don't know if that might have been her. It was her. It was her, because she shows me one side of her body. That usually means stroke to me. Do you understand? I'm sort of like a telephone between this world and the other world. Somehow I'm able to tune into the frequencies of people that have passed over or people that have physically died. But are psychics, like Suzanne Northrup, for real? Is the psychic an outright charlatan, or is it somebody who's self-deluded? They really believe that what they're doing is real. You can't explain it by fraud and you can't explain it by social psychological cueing, and you can't explain it by statistical coincidence. So how else are you going to explain it? Whether you believe her or not, Suzanne Northrup's yes. readings are undeniably yes. dramatic and amazingly accurate. Name, but I want to say I hear David Danny really, really strong. Danny. Who's that, please? My husband. Okay, thank you. For me, it's been my life experience. This isn't just something that I did a few years. It has been something that's been with me my whole life. Your brother seemed to be go very fast, don't ask me why. Yeah. That's what he tells me. And I don't know what was wrong with him, but I'm feeling throughout my blood. He tells me my... Yeah, the kidneys. Yeah, because he, he said... Had a transplant. Well, he said, Can well, Suzanne Northrup really communicate with the dead? There is something going on that we need to take very seriously. Gary Schwartz, a University of Arizona psychology professor, recently studied a number of renowned psychics, including Suzanne Northrup, under scientifically controlled conditions. She is more than 50% accurate when someone like myself would be about 5% accurate. It absolutely befuddles us how she could know this information short of receiving it through some sort of psychic means. And his mama was also there, so there must have been a grandmother connected yes. to him okay. with the name Mary or Marie, very clearly. I believe that was her name. Yeah. Don't mess with me now. Don't tell me that this is not real. Don't tell me that I'm a wacko. Don't tell me that I make this up because now I've been tested. But does a high degree of accuracy in a psychic reading verify psychic ability? Skeptics say no. It only proves that the psychic has mastered the tricks of the trade. I think you have to look at the evidence and the scientific claims very carefully. It's not Mark it's Edward a, made his living as a medium for 10 years, but he confesses okay. to having no psychic so, ability uh, and he's willing to expose I, I others who don't. Technique is to go very fast, say a lot of things, so fast that the normal average person doesn't have a chance to respond or reconstruct what you just said. In order to demonstrate the methods phony psychics will utilize, we had Mark Edward offer free psychic readings at a shopping mall. Everyone who sat down with Mark believed they were with a real psychic. I'm Mark. I'm Joe. Hi, Joe. Have a seat. I think when people go to a psychic, they expect to see some accurate information. So over the years I've made my own little collection of uh, uh, phrases that seem to fit. One of them is, why do I pick up Charles? Who's Charles? An older guy that lives across from me. I'm getting the name 
Like Charles? I had an Uncle Charlie. Um, Uncle Charlie? Yeah. Who's Charles? My husband. If it hits, fine. If it doesn't... Where do I hear the name Joseph? Very strong Joseph. You just tell the person, watch for it. No. Just think about it, okay? Joseph George, sometimes I'll hear a like, but you'll, you'll check. Okay. Okay. Another technique is just using initials. The letter M is in so many different names, male and female names. It, you really can't go wrong with the letter M. Who's he giving me with the M name female? M name female. M. Would this be the niece? You know the name I'm hearing is Michelle. I don't know why, but Michelle that's... Michelle is his daughter's middle name. Thank you very much. But even Northrop isn't right all of the time. Now, Grandpa went many years before her, please? No. It's the other way around? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot of methods that... that uh, psychics or fraudulent readers use to convince a client they, that they didn't say something that was wrong when in fact they did. So they have a way to make a right turn or left turn. Why would he talk about a car, Joanne? Did he pass a car down? Was a car a big deal or something? No, but he was a, a car. My husband's restoring a car. Ah, that's what it is. Thank you. So you're fishing, but you're getting a response that seems like, oh, he is on the right track. For example, one of the things that I say is uh, wh why do I feel this distance? Why do I feel this distance with her? It can mean two things. It can mean geographic distance or it can mean emotional distance. Um, maybe it's because she lives in Alabama. Now, if she had said no, she lives right down the street, and I'd say, well, there's an emotional distance that's kind of been there between the two of you. You're giving yourself outs so that you constantly have another path to go. And I also think your father wore hats because he shows me hats on his head. Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> then was he losing his hair? Um, a little bit, Okay, yes. because that's what it It's got to be one or the other when he shows that to me. And you just keep going, and you don't stop until the show's over. And when the show is over, they'll remember the hits, and they'll forget the misses. But perhaps the most common technique okay, now, that Edward believes a psychic con will use is simply letting their subject talk, unwittingly volunteering information that the psychic then incorporates into the reading. Something that he would have in his room, like either on a wall or a desk or something. Yep. It had to be very significant. It was a pocket knife. I couldn't tell what it was, I, you know, because I can't yeah. always and distinguish. And my son carries it with him all the time because, he because says, it was from him. That's what, because he says it's very, I couldn't tell what it was. It looked small, yeah. and it wasn't a ring, it wasn't a watch, because usually those I'll get real sp specific. So I couldn't tell, but it kind of looked like this. It's Is Suzanne Northrup a master of the psychic con? Not to those she reads. Everything she said was right on the money. I mean, everything. He also shows in the month of July. Very, very strong. Don't know why he's showing me that month. Usually, mean it's a birth or uh, passing. My birthday is in July. Thank you. I guess wow. he's giving you an acknowledgement. She does have a gift. It's phenomenal. My philosophy about psychic phenomenon is that it does occur from time to time with all of us. But I think that when somebody says that they're going to make it happen and that they can do it on a consistent basis, I don't buy it. I sympathize with the skeptic. There are many people in the field who in all likelihood are fraudulent. On the other hand, these individuals seem to receive information which they could not know from ordinary means. To Mark Edward, this special knowledge is just knowing how to pull off a convincing con. It's entertainment. I'm not a real psychic. Oh my god. Wow, that's 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 really weird. Hey, well, how did you come up with the names and things? I always say Charles. Oh. And as long as it is entertainment and it is put in those terms, I see nothing wrong with it. I'm not really a psychic. You're not really? No. Are you kidding? No. Cool.